You cannot tell me that this is not the exact sweater that old girl wore. It's giving everything that I was supposed to have gave. And who doesn't love something that's cute and comfortable? That's just, that's a given. What's going on beautiful people? My name is Chrissy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are returning. If you're new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on another upload. And if this is your second or third time coming across my channel but you still haven't subscribed, now is the perfect opportunity to do so. Today we are getting into some of the fall 2021 fashion trends that I've absolutely been loving. And y'all, the trends of this season are really doing their thing and the fashion girls have been showing out and i was like let me let me step into the game a little bit and honestly the trends of this season i've noticed that i've incorporated a lot of those things into my wardrobe already and i'm sure that that is true for some of y'all watching as well so i love that for us because that means that we don't have to necessarily go out and buy new things to stay on a trend in some cases we can just search our closet for what's already there and just get creative in making outfits and that is precisely what i did in this video some of the stuff is is new though actually I would say a lot of it is new because I did a lot of shopping in the summertime I have just been very ready for fall to come about these fall 2021 fashion trends did not come to play I think that people were really just tired of being in quarantine and this season is all about brights patterns layering it's just a whole bunch of goodness so without further ado I'm not gonna talk y'all ear off let's get right on into it Alright y'all, so this is the first look. This is a midi dress that I picked up from Urban Outfitters. I actually purchased this over the summer. So as far as trends go, midi dresses are definitely on the trend list. And I love midi dresses because they are so easy to transition into winter. I could easily throw a nice long coat on with this and then some boots and that is a whole winter piece. But as far as the details on this dress, yes it has pockets as y'all see and honestly truthfully the pockets is about 80 percent of the reason why i even purchased this dress because yes it is cute you know it's a nice chill vibe you can definitely jazz her up but the pockets just give it that extra oomph you know what i'm saying y'all know when you have pockets in a dress it just it does something extra for you if i want to just stand around and chill i can just throw my hands in my pockets and we lit she is thick but not too thick so i'm not gonna be hot in this to the point to where it's like yo i'm hot and i can't escape the heat because i'm in an entire dress there's nothing i can do to remove it so she's not too hot she has long sleeves i just went ahead and rolled those up and then like i said pockets two slits on either side and i love this detail here so it has a collar and then it has this nice button detail as well and then as y'all see it has a pocket here also i was actually wearing these shoes when i tried this dress on at urban outfitters and i just really love this look i love that this is a nice neutral color and then the shoes are bringing those pops of greens oranges and blues and the deets on the shoes i don't know i don't know what these are called i know that they're nikes but i'm not really a sneaker head i'm just now like beginning to buy sneakers i really enjoy this outfit i would pair this with like a little oversized tote bag um i would probably wear this to like a farmer's market if i'm going shopping um maybe to like a daytime movie date because this is a very chill outfit but it's definitely giving a look but I will check the website to see if she is still available. When I purchased it, it was on a sale rack, so I'm not sure if she still is. But I will definitely look around the internet for some other options if this one is not available. Okay, y'all, so the next outfit that we're serving up on the menu is this super bright, extra fun outfit. I absolutely love this. We're definitely getting to that bright colored trend of this season. And when talking about color, another trend is pairing unexpected colors together, such as like a rust and a lavender color. Those are colors that you would typically expect one to pair, but that's exactly the trend of this season. As much color as you want, whatever weird colors you wanna to pair together, whatever unexpected colors you wanna pair, that's on you, okay? One thing that I love about this trend is that typically fall and winter is reserved for neutrals, blacks, and whites more so, but this season the girls say we are not having it, we are doing color. So let's get into the deets of this outfit. First, we have this orange sweater, and you cannot tell me that this is not the exact sweater that old girl wore in Scooby Doo. I don't, what's her name, Daphne? 
I was just about to say I don't remember her name, but I think her name was Daphne. So, yes, y'all, I'm wearing Daphne's sweater. It is so cute, so cozy and comfy. And I picked this sweatshirt up from the thrift store for like $5. If you are not somebody who shops vintage or who goes to the thrift store, which I feel like a lot of us do now, but if you're not, I can almost guarantee you that you're missing out on a lot of hidden gems. So definitely make sure to hit up your local thrift store if you are interested in adding some unique pieces to your wardrobe. And these pants, y'all have seen these probably a million times at this point. If you follow me on Instagram as well as YouTube, then you've seen these before. These are obviously my favorite pants in my entire wardrobe. The color is just... I'm absolutely here for it. I love pink. So next we have the same shoes on that I had in the previous outfit. And I feel like these shoes just do a good job of pulling everything together. They add an extra touch of love, an extra little zing -a zang to the outfit. So I definitely love this one. This is an outfit that I would wear probably to like brunch on a Sunday maybe. Or I don't know, kids birthday party. <laughs> It's just, it's a really fun outfit and I love the vibes that it gives. It just, I feel like looking at this outfit just makes me happy. So yeah, y'all, this is her. She is it. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, y'all, here is the next outfit. So this outfit is all about pattern mixing and I absolutely love pattern mixing because it's just so fun. It brings a whimsical air to your outfit and it just allows you to try a lot of different things that you might not normally try so for this outfit i went ahead and paired this cheetah button-up shirt which is from clothes mentor but it's originally from levi's with this zara with this oversized zara coat that i picked up in a medium slash large size these pants are from levi's they are these very nice high-waisted khaki pants and i rolled them at the bottom a little bit and then i went ahead and paired this outfit with the same shoes that i wore in the <laughs> previous two outfits y'all promise this is the last time y'all gonna see these shoes in this video for some reason they just been working with all the outfits i tried on today so what's the girl to do but y'all this outfit is definitely hitting on that pattern mixing trend as well as it's kind of hitting on the tailored on tailored trend just a little bit now as far as that trend goes it's definitely giving 90s vibes like i work in a high rise in new york city i have on my nice tailored but loose fitting pants i threw on my coat because it is cold in new york i have on my button up my loafers and we about to get this work today started like it's really going for that full work look that menswear look it's like if you're gonna do the tailored on tailored trend you gotta do it fully so if I wanted to really go for that tailored on tailored look, I would definitely grab some nice tailored pants, but like on the loose fitting ends, put on some look first, probably throw on a like menswear vest, and then I'll probably throw on a vest kind of like this one, but not as oversized. So one that might be cropped and just fit a little tighter. And then and then just throw on a coat to complete the look and i wanted to show y'all the tailored on tailored trend but in my opinion i didn't have enough pieces to really complete the look to where i wanted to show it to y'all because i tried but i just i wasn't feeling it honestly so this is what we ended up with like i said this is definitely giving the pattern mixing vibes and if you are choosing to do some pattern mixing just go all for it don't be scared don't be timid don't be shy pair the things together make it look as funky and as quirky as you want it to look all right y'all we have one more look for the purpose of this video so let's get right into it okay y'all so this is the next look and as promised i did put on a different pair of shoes so this look is hitting on the chunky cardigan trend as y'all see this cardigan i actually picked up from target it was like 30 dollars, but it is literally so thick it's stretchy and it is just it's so warm and cozy and when i saw this i was immediately like yes definitely giving me like old school sweater vibes like grandpa sweater vibes but i love it the browns in this cardigan is really what sold me and when i tell you it is the most warm cozy comfy cardigan that i own it was well worth the 30 dollars for sure i know in the fall it's cold in the morning and then it gets a lot warmer in the evenings so i thought that this would be a great 
fall outfit. I paired this with a tank top that I picked up from H&M. It's this beautiful chocolate color. And then these black distress shorts, which y'all would have seen this in another previous video. If y'all would have seen these shorts in the video where I styled one black blazer 10 different ways and if y'all haven't watched that video yet i'll go ahead and put it right here in the upper right hand corner so that y'all can watch it after. so this is the look again this tank top these shorts and then this cardigan that i absolutely adore and i went ahead and paired this with my cream air force ones and these are the shadow in the shadow category the shadow air force ones whatever this is something that i would wear like to the movies um maybe to like dave and busters or like a game night and i'm sure most of us have a nice chunky thick cardigan in our wardrobe so this would definitely be an easy trend to hop on now i have noticed though that another trend is like the crop cardigans and then like the cable knit sweaters and cable knit cardigans as well so those i don't have but if i wanted to just be more on trend then i could go pick those up as well they're also really cute hey y'all this is the full look styling this chunky cardigan and again this is one of my favorite fall 2021 trends because it's simple it's easy to style and it's also comfortable and who doesn't love something that's cute and comfortable that's just that's a given and i actually have one more cardigan that i picked up from the nordstrom anniversary sale so i'm gonna grab that real quick and show y'all that as well okay y'all hopefully y'all can see this color i had to turn the brightness down because this sweater is just insanely bright but it is so cute so this is by the brand bp and i picked this up in a size 2x and honestly this is not something that i will usually wear because in the summertime there were a lot of clothing pieces that were made in like highlighter colors like yellow orange and green and i really wasn't feeling it but i like this color incorporated into this fall slash winter piece because it just adds an unexpected element like as we mentioned previously typically cardigans like this are in like gray burgundy brown just colors that don't really pop as much as like in highlighter color would so when i saw that this was in this highlighter color and it was also a cardigan i was just like it works it definitely works but this cardigan is definitely on trend for the fall because it is cropped and y'all know everything cropped is in right now if you have not noticed cropped everything and then it's also a bright color so it's a winter bright it's cropped and it's also a cardigan so this encompasses three of the fall 2021 trends and it is just doing it for me i love how oversized it is it's just so cute and flowy and i just feel like the cardigan just it just makes me happy inside the color and then it's just cute and oversized and the sleeves hang a little bit i would actually wear this as an outfit too i don't know if i would wear it at night though this would probably be more so like this would be more so like we're going to grab lunch real quick or like a chill casual spot or i'm just going over my friend's house or something like that if you are not into the cropped cardigan trend yet then i would definitely suggest you check it out because i think that you might find that you like it more than you might think if you haven't already tried it Okay y'all, so I lied. I wanted to style one more outfit. I've literally been recording for like three hours and I have no idea why. But because of that, I decided to just keep this outfit simple. So I'm styling this white leather jacket. Leather is all the rage this season. From leather jackets, shackets, pants, shoes, like leather everything is just in. If I had actually went shopping like for this video prior to, then I definitely would have picked up a leather shirt because I love the way that leather shirts look. It just adds that texture to an outfit. It can definitely elevate your look. But this leather jacket I've had for like two years now, but I went ahead and styled this. So I just paired this jacket with this white long sleeve shirt that I picked up from Forever 21. I tied the shirt in the back to make it a little tighter because it is more of like a oversized loose fitting shirt. And then I added these yellow Nike athleisure type of pants. And honestly, aside from those pink pants that I showed y'all earlier, these yellow pants are like my second favorite pant in my wardrobe because these pants are just a vibe from the color to the style of them it's giving streetwear it's giving everything that i was supposed to have gave then i went ahead and threw on the same shoes that i had on in the previous outfit i have a habit of doing that honestly this video is making me realize that i need to step my shoe game up a little bit because i don't i don't have that many shoes it's really an issue but anyway this is the outfit again i would wear this to the movies honestly i feel like i should just title this video 
movie outfit looks or something like that because I feel like every outfit I've tried on, I said I would wear it to the movies. But I would truly wear this to the movies. I would also probably wear this to like a festival or a fair. Maybe to like a friend's house if they're throwing like a little shindig, a game night or something. Because it's chill, but if this is a chill outfit, which I love. Honestly, most of my wardrobe is pretty chill because that is just what comes natural to me. And it's honestly what I would gravitate towards anyway. So... So I love putting together chill outfits that still kind of have a little twist and twang to them. You know, it's not just like leggings and a tank top and some sneakers. It's a little, little some extra, you know? So yeah, y'all, that does it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed and that you were able to get your creative juices flowing and think of some outfit ideas that you could put together in your own closet. Comment down below what was your favorite outfit and or which outfit could you see yourself actually wearing out here in these streets. Make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment like I mentioned. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Your beauty, your beauty, your beauty, your beauty.